Today we're going to be talking about quadratic inequalities. And quadratic inequalities are the same thing as when we were graphing regular inequalities. You just have to remember either a solid or a dashed line, depending on whether or not you're equal to or not equal to. And then you're going to be shading your all of your solutions. So you shade um, above when we're greater than and we shade below when we are less than. Okay, so graphing this first one, remember to find your vertex. It's negative b over 2a. So I have a negative 6 over a 2 times by a negative 1, which is going to be a 3. So the x-coordinate is 3. I have a negative 3 squared plus an 18 minus a 4. So we're going to have negative 9 plus 18 minus 4. So that's going to get me a positive 5. So I put down my point. There's my vertex. My y-intercept is negative 4. My symmetry point, so I'm 3 away from my axis of symmetry, so I go 3 the other direction. We're a solid because we're less than or equal to. And since it's y is less than, we shade everything inside. Our next example, again, let's do our opposite of b to find our vertex. We do the opposite of b over 2a, which is 3 halves. And so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to evaluate the function at 3 halves. And notice how I can do this all without a calculator. So I have 9 fourths minus 9 halves minus 2, getting everything in a common denominator. We have 9 fourths minus 18 fourths minus 8 fourths. Actually, uh -huh, I caught my mistake before I got too far. Those should be plus. So simplifying that, we get a positive one-fourth. Actually get a negative one-fourth. Okay, so in order to find where this point is, I'm going to go by units of one-fourth since my vertex is a negative one-fourth. So I'm going to go that that is one and that's 2, that's negative 1, that's negative 2, and I'm going to do the same thing on my y-axis. Okay, so my vertex is at 1.5. A negative one fourth. My y intercept is a positive two. And then I know it's kind of hard to get your symmetry point. You can just approximate the other symmetry point about right there. It's a dashed line because we're not equal to. Now, y is greater than, again, we're shading above. It just so happens that both of them were inside our parabola. Okay, next example. Our vertex, now this is in our vertex form. So our vertex is 2, 3. I'm going to put that point down. The y-intercept, you make 
x0 So I have a negative 12 plus 3. It's going to be a negative 9. Symmetry point. Um, and it's also, it's a vertical stretch of negative 3. So I'd go down 1, left and right 3. We're dashed. And since it's greater than, this time we're shading everything above. Okay, um, there's your lesson question, one multiple choice question today.